This golf ball claims that it's accurate beyond belief. It's the Maxfly Noodle Easy Straight and they're saying that it's gonna be easy for you to straighten out your golf shots. Today, we're gonna to put that to the test. So I picked these golf balls up when I was out in America. I got them from Walmart and they cost me $17. Now, if I was a golfer who's struggling to keep my golf ball straight, slicing it, hooking it, and just struggling in general, I would think this could be a fantastic answer to actually solve my game for a very low price but we want to see if that's true. Now, one other good thing about these, costing only $17, you actually get 15 golf balls in the pack here, so you're getting an extra sleeve of three on top of that 12 there, so that's unbelievable value, and if they do hold up to that easy straight claim, they are gonna be a remarkable way of sorting your game out. So we're gonna test them out here on the golf course because I wanna know what the performance is like. Even though they are designed to go straight, I still want to know when I do a little chipping and putting that they feel half decent. I know that they're not gonna have that tour quality feel and spin from them, but I just don't want them feeling like a brick and performing like absolute rubbish around the greens as well. We're gonna see what they're like with an iron as well, see if the, uh, the straightness carries on into the irons, and then we're gonna get them with the driver because I would imagine the higher handicappers, that's where we're seeing most curvature from our golf ball but will this easy straight golf ball solve that out let's put them to the test i'll tell you what initial actual bounce there they don't feel too rocky so i'm quite positive about how they're going to uh, feel when we have a little chip with these now take that as a chip shot that would do Last one goes in, happy days. Right, so we've had an initial little chip and a putt with there, and like I say, wasn't expecting it to feel like a tall level ball, but it actually didn't feel too bad when I was hitting the chips and the uh, the pitches felt pretty responsive. There was a little bit of check in there. Um, the one thing that I was fearful of was that if you think back to balls like the Top Flight XL and the Magnus and things like that, that claim to be long distance balls and straighter a little bit, they felt like absolute bricks. They were just horrible. They sounded horrible and felt horrible off the club face. But there with the, the pitches felt good and then with the putter felt pretty decent. So overall there on that category, you're getting what you would expect from that golf ball there. You're not looking for that tall level of spin and that tall level of feel like a urethane cover. So. That's a pass on that one. Let's have a hit with some irons now though and see if this uh, this straightness starts to come in. So I've come to the six hole here now, we're into the par three, it's 170 up the hill. I'm gonna hit some seven irons. I'm gonna aim directly at the edge of the tree and I just want to try and see how much movement there actually is on the golf ball. Is it moving too much left or right? It's a still calm day here, so we're not gonna get any influence from the wind, which is good. But I'm gonna see that it's not moving as much um, with these irons as well, obviously. The way that they've done this and how they're saying that it's accurate beyond belief is that it's a 342 dimple pattern. So a smaller dimple means less drag on the golf ball, which means less spin, which ultimately means less the um, curvature as you're going through it. So we'll hit three or four here, then we're gonna go and move on and hit a few longer irons as well. But let's see uh, how these straight ones rack up. I'm actually a little bit excited before I've even hit this. See how straight it goes. Well, that is dead straight. That had like no movement. Right, let's hit a few more. That was a good start. That hasn't moved either. Maybe one or two yards tops. Wow, the two of the straighter irons that I've hit might switch to the noodle. not seeing them bounce but if they've stuck I would imagine the dispersion of those can't be any more than 10 yards because they all started pretty close to where I aimed them and there was hardly any movement on any of those golf balls 
let's uh, let's move on, hit a few more. I uh, just want to go and see what the dispersion is on those up there. Just up at the green here, and like I said, 10 yards, I've wildly overestimated that because here's the left ball and the right ball's there with the one in the middle and we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's uh, That's quite impressive. All pretty much the same distance. That first one didn't strike as well, but that was the tree I was aiming at. And uh, they're pretty straight on those. Right, let's hit a few more. We've got best part of 175 on this 16th now. Pins right at the back. I'm going to go six iron. Go for club and see if we can keep the straightness. Oh, that was nearly out of the hosel and it's for how bad that was hit, that actually only had about four or five yards movement on it. I mean, I nearly broke my finger because of how cold it is out here, but interesting to see how bad that was struck. That actually only moved that little. I thought that was going to have a real bend on it. That's like laser straight. That was laser straight. Let's hit one more. Oh, that's slicing because of me. Even that should be moving more. Wow, get more stuck on the inside, Matt. They do fly straight with the iron. Obviously, what they're not gonna do is save poor golf swings like this. Uh, I've hit a couple here, but what is impressive as well, actually, where I'm stood now, if we run a line straight up here, is each golf ball. So in terms of distance control, even when I've hit it a little bit iffy to when I've struck it nicely, and there's two on the green here, they're all pretty much front to back, very, very tight. So accuracy and dispersion with the irons are, are getting a pretty much a good tick there. Obviously, me hitting it from with a push fade isn't going to uh, result in a straight golf shot. So we've tested them with chipping and putting, was pretty decent. We've tested them with the irons, was pretty decent. I actually just want to do a little durability test. I'm going to hit 10 wedges and see how the noodle stacks up with the brand new wedge against this. I'm expecting that, to be fair, it'll look okay after it. So, after 10 shots there with the wedge, it stood up pretty well. Not many marks on the golf ball, obviously, with it not having a urethane cover, it is going to uh, be a little bit stronger and a little bit sturdier. It's not gonna get as ripped as easy, which is pretty good because at 16, 17 dollars, if you're not going through them as well and you're keeping them straight and not losing as many, it's a bonus because you're not changing your ball as often. But now is the real test. I'm going to hit five shots down here, the 17th hole at Warrington, which is a hole that I generally don't like in terms of trying to get the driver straight onto the fairway. If I'm aiming dead straight down the centre, will I actually get more on the fairway? How is it going to fly with the driver? Because I think this is the area that a lot of people will be buying this golf ball for. Five shots are going to take dead aim at the hut and try and hit it straight. I think a success is getting like three out of five down the middle. Well, that was quite toey and it's only got about three yards of draw on it, landed dead on the hut. Not bad for a first driver swing. You can even see where I've actually struck that one. Right there, not my best. And as you can see from the tracer, didn't move that much at all. It's tended to uh, straighten out a bit. That's what we want. That is just laser straight. That is dead on the hut. That's one of the straightest drives I've hit in a long time, that. Makes a difference as well when you actually uh, catch it dead centre. Oh, that was a really bad golf swing. That was interesting because I healed that a little bit and it seemed to, I thought, hey, here we go. We've got the one that's going to shape loads and it sort of started to have some shape and then straightened out. I thought it was going to be 40 yards right of the fairway and it's actually only missed the fairway by about 10 yards for a bad golf swing. That's, that's interesting. Again, that is bullet straight right on that hut. I reckon two have landed on top of each other there. That was, yeah, that was good. So the Maxfly noodle, easy straight. Is it the answer to hitting the golf ball straight? No, 
but it does a good job of actually straightening out the golf ball to be fair there was a couple of occasions with the iron or the driver where i hit it a little bit poorly looked up expecting to see a lot of curvature on the golf ball it started that way then sort of seemed to correct itself with a little less drag and straighten up then when hitting it nice when actually getting some good strikes on it seeing some really really straight shots and that dispersion as well that was really tight so overall for the price a very good golf ball it's not the answer to playing your best golf ever you've still got to put in your hard work but something that could help a few golfers out there so worth a try guys maybe give them a go thanks for watching comment down below did you enjoy it what other balls should we try see you in the next one